Hey, it's Time to Dish with D. That's me. It's time for another mug. You know I am the queen of the one and done desserts. Am I not? Who does these? D does. Remember that. We're doing apple crisp tonight. Why? I wasn't planning on doing apple crisp. I was planning on doing stuffed apple donuts. But Dee has no apple juice or apple cider. So we can't make donuts without that. Because Pound Dropper's recipe calls for those, and I don't have it. But I have these apples I need to use up. Remember last week I told you I had apples going bad and I didn't want to throw them away. So I chopped them up, put them in a saute pan with a little, um, I can't believe it's not butter spray, a little sh brown sugar substitute, cook them down, added a splash of water, a little salt, a little cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, and cooked them down. And they are the perfect vehicle. I've had them all week. If you didn't notice, I had them in my apple pie overnight oats. I had them in my apple cheesecake stuffed French toast. And now we're going to make an individual apple crisp. Now, this is not going to be a microwave recipe. I thought about it. You want it to be crispy. It'll melt, but it'll be kind of hard, kind of, you know, so yeah, this might take more than my, you know, quick recipes, but it probably will take a few minutes. Well, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm going to put it in my toaster oven. I don't think it in the kitchen all hot. So I thought we'd put it in there, cook it up, and let's see how it comes out. Because I'm not throwing these out and we need a dessert for tonight. And this is going to be under four points. I believe it's three points from what I have figured out. That's how it's looking so far, but you never know. Three points for a apple crisp that is this size, I think is a deal. I have no ice cream, I have no whipped cream. Do you not have shit in? I don't, I don't. I'm not sure why I come, I might have ice cream, but it won't be vanilla. I think I have chocolate. Chocolate on top of apple crisps? Should we put some cranberries in there? Maybe, I do have those. Yeah, throw a few cranberries in. It's fall, y'all, so. Let's go in. This is gonna be a quick video. I'm not even gonna hook my tripod up. I'm gonna hold you over the bowl and we're just gonna dump and go because that's how I'm rolling today. I gotta to get done. I got a live to attend. Let's go. All right, in my mug, I sprayed it with some nonstick spray. I put about a half a cup of my apple mixture below. Now mind you, these are seasoned already, so they're ready to go. In my bowl, and I'm gonna make our little topping. I'm gonna to put a quarter cup of the old fashioned rolled oats. This about and my brown sugar substitute my salt and my cinnamon i'll have all the written recipe on my recipe blog dish with d and then we give it a quick oh, like that up my oven is preheated 375 I could have three teaspoons of cranberries for one point. So I'm just going to dot a few. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. Now we're going to pour this mixture on top of this. Let's see if I can do this with one handed. Actually, I'm going to just do it like this. Hi. You should get your ends covered. Okay, we have our mixture on top. Now I have two teaspoons of light butter for one point. I'm going to dot on the top. All right, my butter's all nice and dotted. I'm going to get some, I can't believe it's not butter spray. I'm going to spray the top just for a little extra added you know, deliciousness. Now you could use regular butter. Honestly, I don't think it'll matter in the taste. We're just looking for the, the oats to get golden. All right, I'm gonna go put it in my oven. I'm gonna bake it again. I'm not sure how long I'll let you know when we come back. I'm thinking at least 20 minutes, maybe 25, but I'll let you know when we come back and we will hope this is all nice and crispy. That's the goal of this. Apple crisp, needs to be crispy, doesn't it? All right, there it is cooked for 30 minutes at 400, 375, 400. And then I put it under the broiler for about six minutes. Keep your eye on it because you want it to burn. 
So there you have your three smart point, maybe four smart point, <laughs> uh, single serve apple crisp in a mug. I got three recipes out of those apples. This is, goes to show nothing goes to waste here at the Dish with the House. She had apple pie overnight oats. She had apple cheesecake stuffed French toast. Now she has a delicious, delicious apple crisp for dessert. <sighs> there you go. There you have it. Easily, easily accomplished. Let's have a taste, shall we? All right, this is hot. I mean, look at that. Oops, something for Bailey. I don't get burned. Mmm. Mmm. I need ice cream or I need whipped cream. I have neither. So good. Comforting, warm. Now you could add any spices you want because you know I only like cinnamon. I'm not a huge fan of nutmeg or any. Mm -mm. This is good. Be good to put a chai spice, a chai apple crisp. You can do anything you want with this. This is your apple crisp. You have at it. So we will come back and we will discuss points. It might be the next day. Maybe we'll finish this tomorrow. This is actually going to go up tomorrow anyway. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll discuss. Like, you won't even know the difference, right? Why am I saying that? Because I'm tired. Sorry I didn't come back and finish this last night, but I had a live, and then I just forgot. But let's talk points. Well, we still can. The apple crisp itself was three points. Two points for the quarter cup of oats, and one point for the two teaspoons of light butter. Like I said, you can change up and use any kind of butter. You don't have to use any butter. You can just use spray butter on the whole thing. I don't care. It's your apple crisp. You put on what you want. On purple, you wouldn't have to count the oats, just the butter. Just saying. So it is three points on the blue plan. It would be one point on the purple plan. And I believe three points on the green plan. Now, I didn't count the, the few craisins I put in there. I didn't. I was going to put like, I thought there were only a few. I didn't worry about it. But again, if that's something you want to, you know, measure and put in there, then absolutely you can do that. But like I said, I didn't put that many in there. So I wasn't worried about it. I thought, you know what, I'm not putting the, I think I had two teaspoons planned and I didn't put that many in there. So I just left it out. Honesty, you know, being transparent about that. You know, there's certain things that I don't worry about and a couple of craisins is one of them. And honestly, I only ate a third of the dessert. I wound up giving the rest to my husband. I wished I had ice cream or um, whipped cream would have been, he's, he's like, we could just do he really liked it. I have to mention that. He goes, wow, this is really good. And that was made with that new brown sugar that I put on my haul the other day that I got at my local supermarket. So I might make that a regular purchase since it's so convenient. I don't have to worry about ordering it or whatever. So I, we actually did enjoy it. So it, I guess I was waiting to taste it in a recipe and it really came out good. I had to use up the apples. So, and I didn't have enough to make, he was a little bit mad, he goes, why don't you just make a big one? I'm like, I didn't have enough apples left. So that's why I went, oh, I can make a single serve in a mug, you know, one and done. That is one and done. You know, I am the queen of the one and done. And honestly, I might've been nibbling at it if it still had been there today. Truth bomb. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy my one and done recipes, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you think you're going to try an apple crisp. Now, you don't have to use a mug. You could use a ramekin. It would be perfectly fine. Actually, it might work out a little bit better. I just like the whole mug idea, so I just went with the mug. So, but yeah, you absolutely use a, ra a ramekin or a small dish or even a smaller mug. That was a pretty big mug. I didn't really need that big of a mug. But, so, feel free to change that up. And the directions are on my blog, dishwithd.com. should say my website. Yes, anything newer that's come out since, like, July and August is and from now on, we'll be on www.dishwithd.com. That has all the written recipes. You can go print it out. You could sign up to have it emailed to you. Whatever. Anything prior is on my old blog called dishwithd.org. I kept them very similar. I'm going to eventually transition them all over to the website, the .com. You know, it's just, uh, my life's busy. So it's going to take me a while. And I have that web, that blog for probably to the end of May or June. So... I have plenty of time to tackle that. Plus, with all the changes coming with WW, who knows we need points on our recipes because...
based on what I'm reading, eh, we might not have to do points on recipes. Sad part is, if you want to know the points, you're going to plug it in how you follow. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I had a video out um, yesterday just talking about, you know, what might be coming down the pike. Again, nothing is etched in stone. It's just all hearsay right now. But, you know, if you want to just, you know, dabble in what's going on, I will link that video. You can go have a watch. Thank you again so much for all your support with my channel, my recipes, my blog, my Facebook group, everything. You guys rock and you know it. So again, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, cost you nothing, just hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Let you know when I upload when I go live. I go live several nights a week here on the YouTube. And you don't want to mess it up. It's usually Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Usually, unless I have somewhere I have to be. But if I'm not, I'm all yours. So thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you're going to make some apple crisp because it is apple crisp season.